Why is your foot on me? <laughs> what is this? Why is your foot on me, Andy? QI flossing. Get your foot down. QI flossing. Get your foot off me. <laughs> I'm Get your foot off me or we're not going to Nottingham. I don't want, I've got, I've got her arm on one side, his foot on the other. Can everyone just leave me alone? Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is a do-over, and if you were around on the channel on Sunday evening last week, you'll have seen us attempt to do a live Q&A, which we'd been promising to do for a little while, and if you went and looked for that now, you wouldn't be able to find it, because it was a complete disaster, thanks to lag. So this time, rather than doing it as a live one and risking the lag again, we put a post up on the community page asking for questions, and you lot have been submitting questions for the last 24 hours or so, thumbs upping the ones that you liked at the most recent count We're there's been over 130 questions and We're some of them estimate. have got a lot of thumbs ups so we're going to get through a whole bunch of these questions we also have a couple of bits from the PO box to open as well so we'll open those in a little oh, half time break once Nottingham. we've answered a couple of questions and Andy is particularly excited we sat there because we're recording this Saturday morning rather than Friday evening and as soon as we're done we're going to Nottingham and he is super excited about it go have a look at the Lewis and then Castle Marina Park and then home yeah so he wants to go and see Short Stay then he wants to go back to the Castle Marina and ride in some lifts and he wants to come home. His trip that he's planned doesn't involve any lifts. Which There's is... no lifts there, Andy. Oh, doesn't, sorry, oh. doesn't involve any trams, I mean. Oh. Well, no lifts. No, there isn't any there. We'll go to Castle Moira. Okay. No, no trams. Alright. We'll go home at three o'clock. <laughs> well, no, we won't even be there until three o'clock, Andy. It's, it's what, it's eleven o'clock now. Right, let's do some let's do some questions. So, question number one is from Kaf K. Oh. Says, what would we do if Andy got a girlfriend? In Nottingham, city Nottingham. It's never crossed my mind. Really? Yeah. But he will at some point probably. He's definitely interested in girls and getting more interested in them. No, so, I, haven't thought, I haven't thought that far ahead. He turns fifteen in like two weeks. It's gonna happen. I would say within the next two years he'll have a girlfriend. Nice so we thing. probably need to start planning for what we do. Obviously, we'll invite her to come round and play. He'll be invited to go round there and play, probably. We'll probably, I don't know. I doubt he's going to want to go out anywhere with anyone because he doesn't like going out with us. But We'll cross that visual. Yeah, we'll just, it. just like with any kid, I think. We just have to play it by ear and have our idea of what boundaries we've got for him. And probably have to take a more active role in it than you would with a neurotypical kid just to make sure he's not getting taken advantage of and make sure he understands what he's doing but yeah I think we just have to roll with the punches and see how it pans out at the time. Sid says how did Andy manage the costume characters at Disney? Did he three count over them or was he all right? I have autism and I hate mascots. Don't really see any. We, I mean, we saw some from a distance. Yeah. We didn't go and meet any. I don't think he noticed any, did he? But he loves throwing it on his game. Yeah. Loves it. Yeah, but he just didn't seem to show any. He was very, very blinking in what he was interested in at Disney. He was interested in the castle, and that was about it. And then from once he'd seen the castle, once all he going. wanted to do was do enough rides for us to let him go back to the hotel. <laughs> he wasn't... I doubt he remembers yeah, he, he very much. He wanted to go on them. Yeah. On like the... He wanted to go on them in order for us to leave. Yeah. He was choosing the ones that were the least punishment to let him get out of the park. I don't think he remembers any of the scenery from the afternoon of that day. He doesn't want to go on It's a Small World. Hates it. Well, we're blooming going on that <laughs> next year. I loved that. Hates it with passion. Why? He doesn't like it at all. Well, I'm going on he it. I'll go on it on my own if I have to. <laughs> no, Small World. Well, every time he says that, we have to yeah, be saying that, yes, Small that World. That place is sensory. I'm everywhere. going on it. That was brilliant. The Biscuit Connoisseur says, what has Andy been talking about wanting for his birthday? He hasn't really this year, has he? Normally he's... Andrew, what do you want for your birthday? 13 yeah, years old. No, you're not. What present do you want for your birthday? A bus. You want a bus? A female. A female bus. That's yeah. what you got for Christmas? Yeah. Do so you want the same thing for your birthday that you got for Christmas? Yeah. Anything that you now else? don't use? Yeah. Okay. I take to school every day. Uh, he doesn't really want anything this year, which, I mean... I wanted to get him a Switch. 
but at least but he doesn't want one he's yeah we, but he will when i to show him the pets game uh, and stuff like I that i know he has no interest in wanting to use it when i thought when we got the uh, nintendo minecraft with all the mario characters and stuff in i thought that would pique his interest in it but even then all he wanted to do was watch me and amy do it he yeah. didn't want to have a go so for whatever reason he doesn't like the look of the Switch. No. I don't know. Perhaps he doesn't trust it because he's not sure if it's a console or a handheld, or the because console, the yeah. because the controllers come off, it doesn't feel sturdy enough. But he just doesn't. Oh seem, yeah, he throws things around. Yeah, he doesn't seem at all interested in having a go on the Switch. We got him. We convinced him to go on Mario Kart once, didn't we? And he always refused ever since. Oh yeah, no, he got through one. Part. Yeah, three quarters just, of a race. He just doesn't like the Switch for some reason. What Love they the Wii, though. Yeah, I think what they need to do. Is, right. And there is rumours this might be happening at some point. A Switch Mini where the Joy Cons don't plug out of it, just like a fully enclosed console, like a DS, but that can play Switch games. Mm. He'd like that, but I just I think it feels a little bit too flimsy. But in with the, the Wii, he, he didn't have to hold anything. Well, yeah. he had to hold the Wii remote, but. Finn Piggy asks, when Anna persuaded you to start YouTube, I don't like that that's the version of history oh, we're going is. with, when Anna persuaded you to start YouTube, did you ever think it would grow to this scale? Congratulations on 150,000 subs between us and Andy. Because it is, it's uh, between my Football Manager channel, this channel, and Andy's channel, it's I think 156,000 subscribers now. Which is nuts, so thank you to everybody for that. What is this hand I doing? Just, I don't know. <laughs> the... I don't know, I, I didn't expect it to go this big. I told him for you. What, you genuinely thought if we started it would get big? If you did Football Manager, yeah, you spent... But nobody in Football Manager is big. Does it I... matter? You, you're Kevin! Uh, I mean, it's... The Football Manager channel is only like 55,000 subscribers and it's one of the biggest ones. It's not... It's not possible to be a, be a big YouTuber playing Football Manager. Yeah, but we couldn't possibly have known that four years ago when I started. <laughs> I mean, it was October 2015 I uploaded my first Football Manager video. Dave, what are you doing? You want to do some PO Box? We'll do that in a second. That hand's got to go. It's very confusing. I don't know why it's there. <laughs> but it was October 2015 when we uploaded our first video. Oh, I uploaded my first Football Manager video. And it was literally just a little bit of fun. I didn't even... Awful? Yeah, it was awful. You can it's still on the channel, you can still go and watch it. It was recorded on a MacBook Air with a headset and no camera. And I sound really wooden. But I didn't even know I was going to do a second video. And I've barely missed a day <laughs> since because I really enjoyed doing it. So. Well, you said there's something in one of them. Yeah, one of them is for Dave. Let's open this thing. Dave is really interested in getting this open. So let's get it open because he is desperate to know what's inside it and just won't leave us alone. Dave, it's not even food. Can you just recognise your own name or something? Can you read now? It's a lick mat. What on earth is a lick mat? Perfect for runny treats like yoghurt or gravy. <laughs> so if you put a runny treat on it, I guess it's to slow him down. If we ever give him anything like gravy, it will just be gone instantly. So I guess you put it on there, and then because it's got all the little prickles on, it takes him longer to get it all up and he'll just sit there licking it. I guess that's the plan, that's quite cool. Hi Kevin family, hope you're all well. Enclosed is a gift, lick mat, for your lovely dog Dave. Hope he enjoys it, have a great day. From Becky in Southampton. Becky, thank you very much, that is awesome. Are we really going to have to get the dog some gravy now? He's having a smell. Let's do the other package while we're here as well. This one is to the Chapman family. It's already been opened, did you already open it to see what was inside it? Yes. Or have we already opened this on a video? No, I opened it because I thought it was something else. Ah, okay. So, we've got a nice long letter. Hey Kevin and family, my name's Chloe. My name is Chloe and I'm 19 years old and I've been watching your videos for a couple of years now and I'm a daily viewer. I recently met you, me, recently at London Comic Con and it was a great panel and also Thank you, as you helped introduce my friend to the importance of neurodiversity online. Anyway, just wanted to say a thank you to all of you. Anna, you really are a great mum to Andy. Keep crushing it. Also, good luck to you next year at university. Thank Lucy, you. Andy and Amy, keep being awesome. Also, Kevin, thanks for making sure, even on my low days, I have something to look forward to. You guys are awesome. Keep smashing it, and hopefully you can make use of the few items enclosed. P.S. Anna, another one of, the, another one of those books you said you remember is inside. Um, <laughs> this one... What's that say? Hi Hiawatha? Is that a is that a thing? Or is, am I reading that word wrong? And the Hiawatha and the Big Flood was a personal favourite of mine. Thank you again, Chloe. I'm guessing one of these books is called that. Oh yeah, there you go. Hiawatha and the Big Flood. Never heard of it, but I guess it's it's Anna's the Disney person. Um, we also have 
the uh, the I'm dog, the, not the dog, the meerkat off of the compare the meerkat thing. The actual book. Yeah. Oh, which um, I had a book, but it wasn't this one. When they first started doing it, I loved it. It was brilliant. We have the Disney Weekly. Oh god, how old is that? That does look vintage, doesn't it? Yeah. Plan your Euro Disney board game. You oh, play your. This is from the fifteenth of April, nineteen ninety two. <laughs> And this is in perfect condition. This is. Oh, it's got a Scrooge <laughs> McDuck comic. You this put is that awesome. Away yeah, I might put this in a little poly bag with my comics. That's really cool. 92, I was seven. 15th of April, 1992. Out, no, no, every, I was th six. out every Thursday for 55p. Wow. That is so cool. I'm going to put that carefully under the camera. <laughs> um, and then a Where's the Meerkat Journey Through Time. Andy, I think this one's probably for you. Yeah. You like a where is stuff thing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that good? Because of these, amazing. Wow, it's amazing people. There's the people. Well, up the himself. <laughs> oh, you can keep that. That's yours. Take it bed. Okay. okay. <laughs> he does like all of his books in his bedroom. So thank you, thank you, Chloe, and thank you. Who was the first one? Becky, wasn't it? And um, thank you to both of you for sending awesome stuff. And there is another parcel, but it's labelled for Amy, so she's not here. So we'll open that, or she'll open that one. On, yeah. I think she's next here. To, oh, in fact, we'll see Sunday. her tomorrow. Yeah, because it's Father's Day tomorrow, isn't it? Next question. Clint Ooh. says, if YouTube suddenly didn't exist, Question. would you go back to teaching or would you try a different job? Uh, I asked you this the other week. Yeah. I was also asked it on stream the other night. I don't know if you've seen me answering it on stream and that's no. where the questions come from. But I think I did. <laughs> I've got to be careful. How it's all right doing this to Anna. It's all right doing it on stream, but this is permanent. I might have to one day. My instinct right now is that I wouldn't. Because, not because I didn't enjoy it, but because... He's already done it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I've I'm I already know I can do that. I know I'm good at that. I feel like I mastered that. I don't feel the need to go back and do it again. I've always struggled and this makes me sound like such a weirdo. I've always struggled with the idea of working for money. For me, I work to achieve something and master something and then I want to work on something else and luckily the money comes and that allows me to live. But if you look back through my career history, there's n numerous examples of me leaving a job where I was well paid to do a job where I earned less just because I wanted to try something else. The money doesn't really motivate me. That being said, if YouTube disappeared right now and the only job I could get was as a teacher, obviously I have a real passion for teaching, please give me a job. But years ago, I mean, when I was a financial advisor, I had a cushy job. No, I went from a financial advisor to working for a bank going around just basically selling to financial advisors and that was the best money I've ever earned. It, even better than when I was a head of department in teaching. That was good money, company car, all that kind of stuff. And I did it for a year and a half and got bored. So I quit and started my own business as a mortgage advisor. Mm -hmm. And that didn't go very well. So I ended up selling car insurance and then went to uni. All the while, I ne and at no point did I really seriously consider going back and being a financial advisor again, which is where it all started, because I knew I was good at that, because I'd already done it. And then I did my degree, went into teaching, and I could, I could probably maybe not be a deputy head by now, but I probably wouldn't be far away at this point. I'd be maybe a year or two away from being a deputy head if I'd have stayed in teaching. But... I've got no interest in doing it. I've done that. I know I could do that. The career progression is planned out. I'd want a new challenge. Her biggest fear is that one day I'll wake up and say, yeah, I think I'm good at YouTube. I've mastered YouTube. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm going to do something else. Because I think you'll kill me, won't you? Yep. Especially because we're reaching that point. I've never had a job for two years before. For more than two years. It's the longest I've ever been in a job. So even with teaching, although I did that for five years, one year was teacher training, two years at one school, two years at a different school with promotions in there as well, so the job was changing. Come July, so next month, I'll have been a full-time YouTuber for two years. Are you bored? Not yet. It changes all the time. It's always different. You can mix up the content. I think that's the good thing about being self-employed and being a creator. I can mix up the content, do different things. Yeah, it's all the background stuff you don't do, though. Yeah, <laughs> background stuff is boring. Anna, Anna still wants me to hurry up and get last year's accounts finalised. We need to do them. Uh, Connor Devin says, why does Andy get into, into his pyjamas straight away when he gets home from school? Comfort. Yeah, he just likes them. I, I think it's part comfort and part... End it's, of the day. Yeah, it, it's a way of 
confirming that he's not going out again. Yeah. Because <laughs> back when he was refusing, because he never used to, he used to just wear his clothes. Yep. But, but then when he was refusing to go to school, way back when, one of the ways he would refuse was by refusing to get dressed. So part of getting him back to school was convincing him to put clothes on to go to school. And he started to agree to do that. But I think it was, I'll put my clothes on to go to school, but then when I get in, I'm going to take them off again, because then I know I'm not having to go back out again. So I think part of it is that as well, and it's kind of just drifted over into everything now. So he'll just wear pyjamas unless he's got to leave the house. And then when he gets back, he can take them off, and then he knows he doesn't have to leave the house again. So I think that's a big part of it as well. Ben Irwin says, has Andy ever tried to view adult content on his iPad? Define adult. He's had inappropriate stuff, in both in terms of swearing and as rude as YouTube will let you get, which I understand isn't very rude. Mm -hmm. So it's not like he's got porn on there because I don't think he's got any way to access that. I don't think, because you can't get that on YouTube, I don't think. And he wouldn't know how to do it any other way. He probably doesn't even know that word. He wouldn't know what to search for. He doesn't have friends at school who can tell him how to do it, which is probably the way most kids learn. So he's never had anything like really, really adult, but you get the odd inappropriate video. The thing more than naughty videos is stuff with loads of swearing and violence in, which YouTube seems to have a much harder time filtering out yeah. than it does the rude stuff. Max asks, do the girls know we're going back to Disney? Yes, they do. Yeah. Amy knows, she knew before we booked it. Lucy knows we're going. I don't think we've discussed it on the vlog. I've mentioned it to a couple of people in the comments. Lucy's probably not coming this time because she's got stuff on. She can't really commit to anything a year out because she doesn't know where she's going to be with college or work stuff. She turns 18 in January. Even if she doesn't have college slash work getting in the way in a year's time. She's 18. She, yeah, she might want to go on holiday with her boyfriend or with her friends. So she doesn't want to commit to it at this stage. But the deal we've got, we've got a cabin for six people. There's a bed for her in that cabin. We're going by car again. There's a seat for her in the car. If she decides, <laughs> yeah, if she decides a week in advance that she wants to come, I've said to her, between the two of us we can work out a way to get her some park tickets so that she can come i did say i'm not going to buy her park full price park tickets there and then because it's so much more expensive than doing it the way we've done it but if we could come to some kind of arrangement between me and her where she makes a contribution because she wants to come as an 18 year old adult who's got a job then oh, i didn't tell you last night it has been confirmed that adult adult tickets at this are now the same price as child's Splendid. Mm. I don't know if they were more or less before. <laughs> but yeah, she might come, but at the moment she's not on the booking. But Amy's very excited. Andy's very excited. We're all very excited. Fortnite Fantasy says, even though Andy can't sit through a two-hour GCSE, do you still think the government is going to make him do it as it's law that it's compulsory to do the GCSEs, etc, 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 etc? I put this one in just to clarify. It's not no. law at all. There's no law to say you have to do GCSEs. The, nobody's going to ever force anybody to do any exam. Schools will give you the impression that it's not optional. It absolutely it is. is. You can do GCSEs at any when age. you want to, at any age, and you never have to do them at any point. All of that being said, if you are like 14, 15, oh, 16 watching this, yeah, do them, because if you don't do them, you won't be able to get into college and you won't be able to get a job and all this kind of stuff. But for Andy, going to college at 16, getting a job at 18, that's not on the agenda anyway. So he'll do GCSEs as and when he's ready to do them as and when he wants to do them he might never do them but do them now though yeah it's absolutely not anything that's compulsory or no. the law or anything like that it's a common misconception but they are time consuming when you're an adult yeah it's oh yeah a lot of time do them when you've got the opportunity yeah, to do them trust me <laughs> but yeah that's that's why I, in my exam stress video that still gets quite a lot of views at this time of year I mentioned in there, it's not the end of the world if you fail them. I mean, obviously it's better to pass them, but if you fail them, you can just redo them. It's schools want you to do as well as you can at age 16, because that's what their league tables are measured on. So they put a lot of pressure on for that. But that's all it is, it's school league tables. There's no law saying you have to do GCSEs. The law is you have to stay in education until you're 19. And that's some kind of education, so that could be an apprenticeship or a work, or a, jo or a job that has some kind of educational placement as part of it. So you have to be in education until you're 19. You don't have to sit a single exam during that time, though. So he will stay in education until he's 19. Did you GCSEs in, as an adult at all, no? no. You passed, didn't you? I did. Yeah. 
I didn't and then do them in my adult years a lot of time do them when you've got you've got time now when you're like 15 16 don't do them <laughs> with kids around it's not well no, you did pass them I the passed end, them so it's, not like it's impossible yeah Lucy asks, is there a certain way you'd prefer viewers to act if they ever met us in public? I don't care. If it's just me, do what you want. Obviously, don't punch me in the eye or anything, but um, <laughs> say hello, stand and have a chat, have a selfie, whatever you want. It's all good for me. You feel a bit more uncomfortable with it, don't you? Yeah. And Andy hates it. So if, yeah, so if Andy's fair. there, just accept that it might be a very, very brief hi and bye. And a few people have had that in the past. They've caught wow. me as I'm sort of yeah. chasing Andy down the yeah, street. And it's literally been, hi, you're all right, sorry, got to get Andy. And as long as you're happy that his needs come first, it's fine. Don't expect Andy to pose for a selfie because he won't. Don't Hate expect it. Andy to stand and have a chat because he, he won't. won't. <laughs> um, and Anna's somewhere in between me and Andy on that scale. Um, you like to do it, you want to be able to do it, but you are embarrassed and uncomfortable when you're doing it, aren't you? Oh, I have to keep an eye on him. Well, if he's not there, if, even if we're like walking around Comic Con together, you feel a little bit I just stand weird, with whoever don't we're with. You? I just let's go over here. I've had to drag her into the odd picture every now and again. You can see now, you're stretching on your shirt, your anxiety's kicking in, yeah. yeah. You, you're trying to pretend you don't feel uncomfortable doing it. She absolutely does. But, I mean, it doesn't mean you can't ask. But, yeah, I'll, I'll always do it. I'm happy to do it. I've had to push you, though, to do it. You get used to. Well, I didn't used to. <laughs> the thing that I struggle with is the conversation. I've had to learn some scripted That's statements to stay in conversation because I can't do small talk. But I am getting better at it. <laughs> Lucy, different Lucy, says, did Andy ever stop smearing on the walls? Uh do it as much it's now just mostly contained to the bathroom so. mm. and then last question which i cherry picked this one because i want to know the answer to it pokemon j says how does anna feel about vlogging occasionally Flossy. i was really excited slash proud when she vlogged at disney as was i so how does anna feel about vlogging occasionally can't do it in public but you did i did, did, it, I, did it, I had glasses on and everyone was in french <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you do it? I just can't. I feel like people, everyone is looking at me and judging me. Cash and I see how much you get Cash in the way. In the that gives me the most anxiety where you get in the way and I just, I, could, I couldn't. I'd rather die. Then the and she genuinely means that. I, think. <laughs> I, I just... Oh. So don't think that the channel is the way it is because I'm a control freak who always wants to hold the camera. You would be surprised how often behind the scenes I'm trying to force the camera oh, we on argue you, on Lucy, yeah. on Amy. I want them to yeah, be holding the camera. Yeah, but he does it when, we're, when me and the girls do something we really want to do. He's like, vlog it. No, because that's interesting for the yes, vlog. But we, we've never been there. <laughs> we want to experience it. I don't think it. you understand the point of a vlog. I will do it when we're sat in the house doing nothing. Well, that's yeah. really boring. Don't do it then. But when we're out doing something really interesting for the first time that we might never do again but that would make a good video, I don't want to do it then. Shot. Yeah, but we should have gone. Like on the Wednesday for an hour, but the inch, people, and then we would have done a second time when you gave us the money, and I would have vlogged you it. You can tell this is a person who doesn't watch vlogs, so she doesn't understand <laughs> what people watch for. People don't watch you in that shop because they want to see that shop. Oh, why? Do they you? watch because they want to see you experiencing the shop. They want to see how excited you are. They want to see how much you're enjoying it. They want to see the surprise, delight, disappointment. Yeah, but I had to keep Amy alive. I know, but <laughs> they don't want to see you doing it for the second time and you already know what's there. Well, no, because I would have gone the first time, scouted small it out. Small talk. And then, yes, small talk. And, and then, Daddy. Does Daddy, Daddy do small talk? Yeah, Hello. you want me to do some small talk? Why is your foot on me? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Why is your foot on me, Andy? QI flossing. Get your foot down. QI flossing. <laughs> Get your foot off me. <laughs> I'm playing this as well. Get your foot off me or we're not going to Nottingham. I don't want... I've got, I've got her arm on one side, his foot on the other. Can everyone just leave me alone? If you meet me in public, going back to that question, don't start resting limbs on me. I don't like it. Are you spreading? My word. <laughs> right, we're going to wrap things up there because he's ready to go to Nottingham. <laughs> I need to get this edited before we can go. It so thank you to everyone who sent in questions. Obviously, if we didn't get to your question, just try again next time. Uh, we do do Q&As fairly regularly. We might be doing pre-recorded ones for a little while until we're assured that there's not going to be further problems with YouTube. Yes, yeah, Sandy, we're going to we're going to be going to see Lewis. We're going to go to Casa Marina. We're going to have something to eat. 
Um, Tesco. No, not the Tesco. <laughs> we're going to take Lewis out because it's Lewis's birthday. We're going to take him out for a birthday meal. We're watching Friends. We're not going to watch Friends. We're going to take him out somewhere. Lewis we need to decide where we're going. Lewis will watch Friends in July. And then Cash and Yattig on July. Okay. Right. We need to say bye bye anyway. So bye -bye. if you have enjoyed today's vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much wow. for watching. Yeah, we'll we'll come up now for Lewis and Castle Maria Park. <laughs>